Hello guys, welcome back to The Sims Real Estate and today I'm back with a tips, tricks and cheats. I will never be able to see, say that word, <laughs> cheats, <laughs> video. And as you can see, today I'm going to show you how to build L-shaped and U-shaped stairs. Uh, this technique can also be used to do other type of stairs. Uh, but these ones are the ones I'm focusing on today. So, as you can probably already see, uh, these, these two wooden uh, uh, stairs are made with the foundation, the new foundation tool. Uh, and I will show you a, a little bit later how to uh, do it. Uh, in the example, I will show you how to do the uh, L-shaped one, but just know it's the same technique. Um, uh, a few quick uh, informations that my, my, I'm afraid to forget later in the video. So, for example, since I'm not focusing on the U-shaped one today, uh, for the U-shape, uh, the normal size uh, wall is uh, 12 uh, slides, uh, 12 slides. And what I mean by that is, for example, when you put a foundation. Uh, to reach the same size as a normal wall, you have one. You have to slide up twelve times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And in order uh, to be able to do that and to to do um, the L shape at the L shape you have to um, to calculate in order to have four steps each time it, it, that is just applicable <laughs> that only applies to the U shape uh, stairs so for example if the wall is 12 the this foundation has to be eight slots I and the last one has to be four slots I. And uh, also, as you will see in the, the examples, uh, to be able to put this uh, inside of rooms, uh, you need to, uh, to have a three-story high uh, house. Uh, since you cannot cover uh, from now on this 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 st these stairs could not be covered covered by uh, a ceiling or a roof so to be able to put a roof uh, on your houses if you're putting them inside of houses because as a, uh, you can also put them in outside uh, you have to have a three-story eye and uh, not cover uh, the stairs. Uh, oh, and I was focusing on the foundation types, but as you can see, I will also show you how to do one without foundation, just by building a room, a floating room. Uh, so let's jump into the tutorial. So to start up, you need to start on a flat terrain. You cannot put it on any foundation since you are going to need a foundation. And it's a if you start with a build, it needs to be three-story high, and the places where you're going to be the stairs over it, it can it has to be open. So now you're going to go and uh, bring the room tool and build a one or two square the squares doesn't matter you just need to have the size that you want and bring a foundation 
so for a L-shaped stair, for L-shaped stairs, you need it to be uh, six slots high. And as you can see, I did it slowly, so to be able to count. Uh, then you can pick whatever foundation texture that you want for your L-shaped stairs. Now you're going to go take the stairs that you want. Uh, here I'm going to make them bigger to make sure uh, it's what I, I want them to be. <laughs> and just put the fence around the... The, uh, the foundation that you use for the L-shaped stairs I put the banisters uh, so you cannot uh, close the room using a room tool you will have to do it manually and you cannot put any walls next to the foundation so you will have at least leave one uh, square, one tile uh, between the walls and the foundation used to do the L-shaped stairs. Uh, also, you, as you can see, until the third star, the third floor, I didn't put uh, the uh, any ceiling over the stairs because that isn't uh, possible. Here, to finish closing the walls, I will bring the walls manually to the room because you won't be able to build those walls uh, manually. You'll have to build them next to the room or uh, as you see uh, what I did I didn't do it in the room <laughs> I don't know how to say it and then bring them manually to the room to close it in a few seconds you will see the room will be dark but it's not considered as a room you cannot save it to the gallery uh, you cannot move it uh, it's just a closed space but it's not technically a room. So here I'm just, I think, just putting the fence or the banister. Uh, the banister on the other. This is also a sneak peek into the speed build. It's so why I uh, um, you see me, the other stairs. So to put the floor, since it's not the room, you have also to do it manually and drag the floor as we used to do in old Sims games. <laughs> Uh, so I think here we are for this technique. I'm just going to furnish it and you will see it at the end of the video all furnished. So for the second technique you start the same. You build a room but this time you don't uh, destroy the walls. You're just going to select the room and select the little cube inside and bring it down by four slots. Uh, instead of freezing up to build a foundation. Then you will bring the room tool and build another room on top of it. This will be the base of our floating room. Next, you need to destroy the room in, uh, underneath and size it the shape that you want, the size that you want for your L-shaped stairs. Just leave enough space to put the other stairs on. Select your stairs, Put them on our. Oh. <laughs> I was hesitating which ones to choose. And then you will build the room that uh, you want those stairs to lead, uh, where you want those stairs to lead. So I will just build that room. Uh, so this is a try and error place. Uh, Sometimes it will be close enough and sometimes you will have to uh, to adjust the size of your rooms to be able to put your stairs. And basically here you will have, so here I'm still adjusting the room, but you see uh, how to do it. For this trick, as the foundation trick, if you want to put a roof or a ceiling over it, you can only do it when it's on over the third floor. It cannot be over uh, just over the second floor or the first floor. You cannot close those rooms with a ceiling. So here we have, and in a few seconds, I'm going to show you 
my sim play testing play testing the, the the stairs and show you uh, if they work, which they should. So here we are with my team, and as you can see, they work fine, and I'm so happy to have discovered this trick uh, and tried it to for my next speed build that you see this week on my channel if everything goes well as always uh, if you like the video please uh, leave a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you're not i hope you have an awesome day wherever you are in the world bye bye